Good morning, good morning my friends and welcome back to another video here in Qatar. Here with the one and only Mabed, world no mabe. And uh, we are cruising our way over. Good morning, good morning my friend. Hi, good morning Bo. And uh, we are cruising over to the mall of Qatar right now. So as you guys probably know, Qatar is a very high end uh, country. Everything's luxurious and things are even more luxurious at the moment because all the money that's been pumped into the economy, specifically in the Doha area, to get ready for the World Cup. So a lot of people will come to Doha to do some shopping. So there are so many shopping malls all around this country, but we're actually going to be checking out what's said to be the largest mall, according to uh, Habib T right here. Mm -hmm. I did my research. Yeah, yeah. I hope it's right. I uh, hope so, As, hope uh, so. Uh, what's the largest mall in Qatar? What's the name of the largest mall in Qatar? Uh, Qatar Mall, I think. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Good. All right. So that's where we're going. Mall of Qatar right now. And we're cruising over from the uh, western where we're staying at. Looks like it's about a 15 minute drive, a little bit outside of the main city over in the municipality called uh, Rao, Radad Al uh, Janaya. Al oh, there we go, there we go. Janaina? Al Haina. Al Haina. Yeah. Oh, there we go, there we go. So I'm gonna work on my pronunciation just a little bit. Where are you yeah. from, by the way? I'm from Eritrea. Where? Eritrea. Ed Eritrea? Yeah. Oh, where is this? That is in East Africa. East Africa, very nice. I'd love to visit. Uh, thank you. Uh, nice to meet you. And you from where? I'm from uh, United States. She's oh. from uh, Lebanon. Lebanon. Yep. That means she speaks Arabic. Yeah, uh, shway shway yeah. Arabic. <laughs> Arabic. Shui shui, right? It's just shui Arabic. <laughs> no, not very good. <laughs> we talk English only. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, guys, we are going to cruise over to the mall and we're going to give you a nice tour around the mall and see what it's all about. If it's that big, I'm guessing it's going to take us quite a while to search around. I'm sure we'll probably try out some snacks or something like that and maybe buy a couple items, especially if it's up to her. <laughs> you said it! <laughs> Alright, looks like we're starting to approach the mall. And let's put it this way, from the distance it looks like it is going to be a massive, massive mall. The Mall of Qatar. She's wow. been waiting the entire trip for this. <laughs> sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. And it looks really nice. We've got camels decorating the outsides of it. We have some really cool sculptures and architecture and art. And it's very colorful from what I'm seeing here. Between the signage and the mall logo. Yeah, once we get in, we'll show you a little bit closer. And this looks like the grand entrance. Mall of Qatar. As we say, Yala Habibi. Yala Habibi. Guys, we have entered the mall. One thing I want to mention is you will need that app in order to uh, enter the mall. Uh, you got to show that, at least as of now, I don't know if it'll be the same during the FIFA World Cup, but uh, this mall is insanely massive. Look at this. We've got palm trees when you first walk in. And surprisingly though, on the weekend, there's not that many people here. Oh, she's already seeing, she's already seeing a coffee shop right over here. Michael Kors, Valentino. Mmm, oh, she's seeing things. Oh, yep, designer brands. <laughs> oh yes. See, I love getting my designer brands in the uh, souks in Turkey. <laughs> They've gotten discounted over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm able to get Louis Vuitton. I'm able to get uh, able Kors. To get, uh, Louis Vuitton. Able, yeah, Vers Versace, everything, you name it. I'm gonna for uh, under 100 bucks. New purse, new wallet, new belt, everything. <laughs> I know, right? And, all right. So this is a high-end mall. You can just tell right when you walk in that. Uh, Things are not going to be cheap here. All right, we're coming up this way, and it looks like we've got some sort of gaming ride here, a Robocom. How does this work? Shortcut to entertainment, a play center. I wonder if you like drive that thing or you get tossed around. You want to try it? Uh, I think we might need to, but it's probably what, like $100? So it's called Robocom Virtual Reality. 45 QAR for five minutes. What is that in USD? Uh, let's see, Globe Convert. All right, guys, got the handy dandy app right here. 100, oh, oh, that's Oman. We need Qatari real. $12.24. You want to do it? Okay. Yalla? Switch around, we will open first, please. 
Oh, you didn't open yet? We're gonna drop her off right over here. Good luck, good luck. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep us cruising around. I'm honestly shocked though. It is a Saturday right now, which is basically like the end of the weekend because uh, here it's Friday and Saturday, which is the weekends. Whereas in like US and a lot of countries, it's like Saturday, Sunday. So I figured thinking that it's the weekend, this place would be really busy, but actually it's uh, quite the opposite. We're one of the only people here but it seems like a massive massive mall you got a lot of brands that are local to the middle east as well as ones that uh you know levi's Foot Locker. you can find aldo all over the world that's one thing i will say that uh as i've been to many countries around the world the most consistent thing that i ever see is malls like a lot of the designs obviously the level of how high end they are the size of them the amount of stores differs but generally the feeling at malls around the world they're all like so so similar which uh, is nice because you can without even looking at a map usually navigate yourself around these places it's not Saturday by the way guys I said that it's actually Friday basically uh, Fridays and Saturdays are the weekends here Friday is like a holy day in the Islamic culture so that makes sense why the place is not busy at all around noon but uh, take a look at this we're walking out here and this is the main food court area of the mall so it's stunning you got turkish kebab shops we've got almost like what reminds me of when i was in singapore a very similar design when you're walking through singapore you can see like outside actually these flower like structures and then all around it guys there's restaurants i probably want to take you here uh, it's like a really really delicious shake shop and then there's yeah just a bunch of other restaurants lining it cafes places to eat like it makes you feel like here like you're outside but you're not actually outside you have the uh sunlight coming in so you kind of get that natural light effect yeah you have the ac because if the ac wasn't on let's put it this way it would be a very hot day yeah but i must say that i am getting pretty hungry so it looks like we've got a lot of the shops you might recognize we've got zara we've got h m just a little bit of everything and i can tell you that uh while i'm walking around this mall the smells are good in some areas you get like that nice perfume smell and then other areas you get a uh like sweets a cookie shop you have just so many like really like instagrammable spots inside this mall like i'm almost looking like i need to get some treats inside of here mm -mm -mm. guys that's the beautiful part about this mall that's probably different than a lot of malls i've been to just like i was saying back there the amount of natural light that comes in i'm sure that uh, i was gonna say probably in some cases saves the electricity bill but when it's really hot I'm sure it bakes this part. You can even feel that this part of the mall is a little bit warmer than some of the other areas. And uh, yeah, I had my days completely mixed up. I thought today was Saturday, but Friday. It makes so much more sense why the mall is uh, much quieter. So if you want to visit the mall with not as many crowds, although I can't promise this over the World Cup, I'm sure it'll always be busy, then maybe going on a Friday is a good time for you because you pretty much feel like you have the place to yourself. We're doing a lap around this way. And look at this chandelier. I guess, I don't even know if you'd call that a chandelier. This massive like hanging fixture from the ceiling. Just absolutely gorgeous. And uh, it's got like glass and everything hanging down. And then even down this way, we've got a fountain from pretty much all directions, guys. This fountain literally looks like a compass down there, which is gorgeous. And just a lot of traditional wear here. You can find jewelry shops. If you want to get the diamonds, uh-oh and uh a lot of luxurious shops here though i can tell you you can easily spend a lot of money if you're traveling around this place and chew is mock i'm with you we'll see the man <laughs> <laughs> all right so we're okay, gonna be trying okay. a little bit of this mm, oh yeah what do you think about oh this let's put it this way sahabte is gonna be happy to see me <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah perfect <laughs> what's the flavor of this one it's Ashkim, he means uh, love. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a Middle Eastern uh, common perfume, pretty popular yeah, one. Oh, very nice. Oh, guys, I'm smelling myself and I'm like, <laughs> oh, I smell fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> so, my man from uh, Tunisia. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, bro. so nice to meet you, bro. Take see care. You Inshallah, I'll see you in Tunisia next year. Yeah, yeah. later, brother. Yeah, Borne. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, you know what time it is? Black Tap Shakes time. Look at this presentation. Yum, yum, yum. We're going to be eating real good. Hello, my friend. You've got some delicious shakes here? Oh, 
best shakes. Oh, the best and yeah. best on the planet, yeah? Yeah, definitely. All right, if perfect. You know Black Tab, you already know that. Oh, yeah. Ah, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, look at this. Some delicious stuff we're going to be able to toss on the shakes. Many different oh, types of sweets. And candy. Oh, little pods over there, too. Oh, yeah. We need to, yeah, we need to choose a pod. Is this like meant to be like a stereo? Yeah, yeah, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that sounds fantastic. Well, let's take a seat and check the menu, yeah? Oh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. This one looks like it's got our name on it. Our own little cubby right inside here. Well, hello. Hello. Mm -mm -mm. The den. This is the menu. Please scan it. Someone message you shortly. Oh, okay. perfect. Thank you so much. And your good name? Measure. Do you have any like, Measure. Beach or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've actually Please made it. Yeah, yeah, will do, will do. Guys, now that I'm pretty much Lebanese, I swear, everywhere I go to, I always somehow meet Lebanese people. It's like my second family. So yeah, guys, we uh, met Mesho, who's uh, Lebanese. Hey, who is Lebanese? So Abte got herself a new pair of glasses there. Looking good. She's even wearing them inside. That's how you know she likes them. <laughs> I'm just yeah, maybe I should do the same. <laughs> we'll be that couple inside. Uh, that wears not the same. Yeah, it's just hanging out. Hello, hello. I'm sure my brother won't like them. Yeah, hey. Measured. Measured. Ah, measured. All right, there we go. Measured on it. Into the All right, guys. We've got the uh, electronic menu here, and this is what I got uh, when I was in Dubai. The Brooklyn Blackout, super good. But I'm thinking cookies and cream supreme. What do you think about cookies and cream? You like cookies and cream? I like everything you pick. Oh, all right. Well, that <laughs> makes it easy for a little date. Mm-mm, good. And then I think we're gonna try out for snacks. Looks like sriracha mac and cheese. You like sriracha? Mm-hmm. All right. Maybe two sriracha mac and cheese and then a fried mozzarella? Sure, whatever you want. Mm-mm, good. That's gonna be G triple O D. We're trying out Habib T's glasses right now. I said they look pretty fresh. Yeah, they look fresh, cool. man. What do they look like, an Instagrammer now? <laughs> well, hello there. My <laughs> name is uh, Will Domek. I am a trendy British vlogger <laughs> from the United Kingdom. You do look British. <laughs> a trendy British vlogger that loves the sport of football. Those dumb Americans, they call it soccer. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> mm. Turn British as soon as I put those on. Wow, whoa! Is that my sahabte? Yep. Damn! That's me! I do know we want uh, two of the macaroni and cheese, please. Two mac and cheese? Yeah, okay. just ranch mac and cheese. And then we'll just get uh, to share one cookies and cream one supreme. One cookies and cream. Mm. Okay. That's gonna be fantastic. And your name? My name is Kani. Kani? Yes. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? I'm from Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan, yeah, nice. Exactly. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I want to visit. Thank you very much. Thank you. Subscribe. <laughs> You're the man. Thank you so much. He knows. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So, two mac and cheese and one cookies and cream. Anything else, sir? Uh, I think that'll do it for today. Yeah. Thank you so much. Welcome. Thank, right. you. Thank you. Mm -mm. You hungry or what? Yeah, very excited. Mm -hmm. well, you're going to be uh, here in a big sock pen soon. Of course. I do. Day one. Mm, day Oh, yeah. And the mac and cheese has arrived. It's day smelling day and looking delicious. You like chicken? You don't have any problem with chickens, yeah? Well, I love chicken. Oh, yeah. Of course. All right. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Let's try this one out, my love. Mm, a little mac and cheese time. Yep, Damon. Mm -mm -mm. Damon Mac. Damon Mac. Mm -mm -mm. Let's test it out here. Mm. Oh, 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 yeah, satin, yeah, it is. It's nice and cheesy, look at that. Just dripping down on you. That is what we call fantastic. Amazing. One of my number one go-to meals around the world. Mac and cheese, but wait till you see what we have uh, coming out. This Oreo shake, it's massive, absolutely massive. And it is going to literally like put us to bed after this, but it's a must. This is actually like a chain black tap all over the world, and, like in a lot of the top malls. I think it originates from maybe New York City. But I had it for my first time in Dubai, and then when I saw it here, I was like, some of you guys are going to be like, you literally put this in the video when you went to Dubai last year, and I'm going to be like, yes, because I loved it that much. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the Mac? Wow. Sorry. 
Mm -mm -mm. Look at this. The Oreo milkshake has arrived. There's like a giant Oreo cookie sandwich on the side. You have all those Oreo pieces right there. Whipped cream, the shake down there. Oh, yum, 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 baby. Mmm. Oh. I'm gonna give it to the honors because she's still eating her bag. Mmm. <laughs> You better hurry with that mac and cheese or it's gonna be gone. Mm -mm. Mm. I'm, I'm a bit slow. Mm. And we better start drinking fast otherwise it's gonna melt. Oh, oh wow. That tastes freaking delicious. Let's try it. Oh mm. my god. Mm -hmm. Oh, you gotta, you gotta mix it in. Open up, open up. Mm, open up, open up. Mm. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, they just brought us out some uh, chips and guac here. Oh, split mm. that with me, my love. Mm -mm, good. You better have an appetite. Cheers. We've been eating real good in Qatar and it's not gonna stop anytime sure. soon. Saten inte. Thank you, my love. Cheers. Mm -mm. Mm. Wow. Guys, I love Mexican food, specifically chips and guac. You cannot go wrong. You can taste the freshness of the uh, the guac. I bet they literally just prepared this minutes I ago. Know, yeah. You know when the uh, when the vegetables you just get that chew in them and they're just extra juicy, like the onions in there, the uh, tomatoes, along with the uh, guac holding it all together. The one mm. thing about uh, restaurants in Qatar is that you can taste everything fresh. Mm -hmm. Everything is so fresh. Yeah, the quality is really unparalleled to a lot of places I've been. I know. You know, it's always nice when you go to a place and you like eat anywhere and feel like um, there's no risk that you're ever going to run into any issues. Mm -hmm. Like getting sick or anything. Yeah. Oh, and when it tastes this good for the belly, we're going to walk around like, hey, we're full. Mm, mm, mm. And look what they just brought us out. I think these are like maybe Skittles. Let's try. Mm. What do you think, Skittles? Mm. Skittles surrounding it. Ooh, gummies. Mm. We'll let Habib to get this one. Oh, no, it's okay. You can have the gummies. Oh, oh, oh. it's okay. Or. Mm. You have some and I have some too. I think this is a uh, mm. bubble gum. Mm -hmm. mm. Half for you. Mm. And there's even a popsicle on the side. <laughs> that is called eating real, real good. We've got whipped cream up top, gumballs on the side. Is that gum you're chewing or like a candy? Candy. Mmm. Sa. Head. All right, gum. We're going in. Mmm. Oh, it's like a bubblegum ice cream. Mmm. That, bubble that is super tasty. Right, this way, see if she approves. Mmm. Yep, we're eating real fast here. G triple O D. I'm sold. Mm. This one is my favorite. Mmm. I want to go for a nice big bite of these Skittles, guys. You gotta get like get your teeth here. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm. 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 To them? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> the Skittles and the Pop Tools go so well together. Wow. Oh my god. Oh, now it is chicken time. Mm. Time to sahten this, my love. Do a little dip ski right in there, honey mustard for her. Open wide, yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, satin inte. It's hot. <laughs> Very hot. Mm. Well, I don't want to make her be in pain alone. Allow me to jump out of here. <sighs> oh, those are so, so good. So, so good. It's like a juicy chicken 
with a nice crunchy layer on the outside. And it looks like we've got three dipping sauces in here. We've got a honey mustard. Maybe that's a barbecue, maybe that's a ranch. That's just my guess. What's your guess? I don't know. <laughs> You're still burning your mouth? That's how fresh they are. They literally are fresh out of the oven. We're gonna try this one next. And. Not bad, my love. Mm. Mm -hmm. The white one's definitely a ranch. I think. Actually, now I'm second guessing myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm, 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 mm. Open wide, my love. You're trying out the barbecue. <laughs> mm. Mm, my baby. <laughs> mm, mm, good. <laughs> and we're going to try. Is that barbecue? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. I'd say my favorite has to be the uh, honey mustard, though. That's a nice, smooth <laughs> flavor. You too? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm. So guys, they hooked us up with some of the meals, so that's why the receipt's gonna be a little smaller, but we have mac and cheese and the cookies and cream shake. Came out to 135, so that's 36 bucks. And then they hooked us up with the rest. So like, probably with the chicken strips and with the chips and salsa, I bet it would've been probably like 50, 55 US dollars, somewhere around like 200 uh, Qatari. Rials. So yeah, really good price. Our bellies are full. Let's head back to the mall. Or head back and walk around the mall. Yellow? Thank you, brother. Really appreciate it. Take care. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, yes, see you then. And then see you in Kyrgyzstan. Deal? Yala Shufkun. Charafna. Charafna. Bye. Thank you guys. All right. That was a uh, very nice visit to uh, Black Tech. Yeah, anyway. Mm -hmm. Here we go. So yeah, guys, we're doing a little more walking around the mall and they're getting stuff set up for FIFA. There's a bunch of screens here where you can, looks like you can connect to the PlayStations, hop on there. And uh, I'm guessing this must be like a kid's area over there. But we're gonna see if we can get up to the top and check out what else this mall has to offer. Guys, up at the top here, you've got a whole park up here. So places, I guess like a full theme park for kids, kids land, and a lot of sweets. If I didn't just eat a bunch of ice creams, I would say this is the, uh, the sweets to check out. And then it looks like the food court is massive over here too. I can tell you the one thing that's very similar about the malls here is that anywhere you go, no matter you're in uh, the country of Qatar, you're in Dubai, you're in, geez, Lebanon, anywhere. You're gonna see a lot of the same food chains. We have K KFC, Pizza Hut, we've got Dunkin' over there. So many of the similar chains you would know. Even some kebabs right behind me. So that's one thing about the uh, Mall of Qatar. If you're looking to get something delicious to eat, you can have sit-down restaurants or you can go to fast food restaurants. So many different options for you guys to eat here. Mustafa, can we hop on? Oh yeah. Yala? After you. Thank you, Mustafa. Where are you from, Mustafa? Yeah. India? Ah, Danivad Baisab. Ab kram ke hai. Valentino, please. Valentino. Valentino. Mmm. <laughs> right, so we're taking, is this what a Rolls Royce, Mustafa? Rolls Royce? Yes. Where in India are you from? Mumbai. Mumbai. Oh, very nice city. Busy city. Where are you from, man? I'm from United States. Oh, yes. Lebanon. Lebanon. This shop name, yeah. Which shop name do you want to go to? Not where you're from. No, Valentino. Valentino? All right, we're going cruising now. Beep, beep. Hey, <laughs> let's go. Is your first time cruising on one of these to the mall? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mabruk. Thank you. Mabruk, Elf Mabruk. Thank you. Someone's happy. She's got a couple of bags and put in her hands. <laughs> well, we got shoes over here. And looks like mall security, hide the phone, hide the uh, camera. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we're just cruising. This is a great way to get around the mall. Mm -hmm. Good. Just cruising around. Under Armour, Shoe Express. Is that it? <laughs> Did he say key phone? Perfect. Thank you very much. 
Danny Bird by sub. See you next time, Dost. Thank you. All right, we're on to the next place. Here we go. Yellow? <laughs> and we are departing the mall. That was a nice little experience for you. I obviously didn't show you as much as I probably normally would because technically I uh, uh, am not supposed to film too much in there without the media permit. But I was already in there, so I showed you guys as much as I could. But yeah, it's a nice mall. Really cool design outside. We're walking out here. There's like apartments all over here. Looks like there's even a soccer football field right cool. there. And uh, oh, I think I was going to say it smells really nice, but I'm still smelling the cologne that the guy mm -hmm. sprayed on me. <laughs> you like that smell? Yeah, it's a really nice mm -hmm. smell. Oh, okay, yeah, they say it's a common Middle Eastern one. Mmm, eh. Saha. Saha, I know. Mm -hmm. All right, well, now it's time to uh, grab a uh, cab back to the hotel, guys. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and we'll see you in the next video.